Hello and welcome to the Mike from LA One Network here on YouTube. And welcome back. It is now time to be to do my next dynasty featuring another guest dog guest character here on The Simpsons. And this one is going to be something that you guys have been all been waiting for. Well, okay, not one of them. But this one, you have no idea what I was doing. This was, this character was voiced by... R.E. Ermi. Er and it'll be Leslie Hap... Have a Blap. Yes, Have a Blap. Hopefully I spelled it correctly. I'll show it up to the camera in just one moment. Tap a blab. Let's see. Yeah, I spelled it correctly. Here's the character. Again, joined by R.E.M. Ermi. And since he uh, doesn't seem to be wearing a suit, thank God. Oh, now watch. I probably have to put him in a suit. But since he's in the military, oh, there, there's a suit there. Jeez, I'm getting sick of the suits. Jeez, I'm getting sick of these suits. There we go. Here's Leslie Habablap. Getting sick of the suits. Now it's time for the alma mater wheel. Hopefully we don't get a navy. If it's navy, I'm leaving. And it is rice. Okay, gotta go a little farther here. So we're hitting the rice, and it's a spread offense, which is good because that's mostly my, my one of my best. And it is going to be four three, and we're going to go hap for the final name. So here we go. And yes, I have plenty of Dr. Peppers with me right now. So here we go as we advance to the big selection show. And don't forget, the, tomorrow when we do my next Dynasty, the first one will be for NCAA 12 will be Don Broke Up, voiced by Lawrence Turney. So we're going to start off with UCLA, so that's a bit of a spoiler right there. And a, ooh, big one right there. Oh, here we go. UCLA, let's take a look there. Three. Well, what about UMass? Let's take a look what they're offering. Ooh, a one-year contract. So UMass is in the lead. But let's take a look at the other one. Let's take a look at Texas State first. Two years, okay. Then Texas San Antonio. Oh, not UMass. Not quite yet. Three. Okay, so so far UMass is in the lead. Can't believe I'm saying that. UMass is in the lead. But then there's a school I gotta check out. That being Tennessee. Oh! Well, this could be a little ironic, but you know what? Leslie Havelblap wants to give Tennessee a try. So, sign on that dotted line as Leslie Havelblap will coach the Tennessee Volunteers. Yeah, a bit of foreshadowing there in my. Oh, that was ironic. How ironic was that? With Eddie Conover, Evan Conover, and now look where he is now. He's now coaching, played against the Tennessee Volunteers and almost lost. And yet, tennis, now we have a character coaching Tennessee. So here we go. Let's meet the players. We got Javon Daniels, the junior, and 86. Not bad. Gerald Nash will be the backup, and our other backup will be Josh Baker. Halfback, we got Ryan Smith. Then Joe Robinson, then Courtney Huff, and Alex Palmer. Fullback, we got Anthony Hood and Eric Campbell. Wide receiver, we got Michael DeLuca. And Darrell Washington. Wait, hold on. Oh, I thought it was Randy. Then David Rucker, Brody Duckett, Lee Lawson, and Ernest Brown. Tight end, we got CJ Johnson, Matt Randall, and Buck Smith. So how about this? We got our first SEC school out Oh wait, now punter we got Jason Brown and kicker Ron Huff. Okay, hold on. Hold on a second. We got the Huff brothers. Beautiful. We got a, a pair of brothers on this team. Lovely. 
So here we go. First opponent will be NC State. Okay, we're actually gonna regenerate it because well, this is fine. Well, I'm 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 not a guy to complain, but NC State right away. Let's see. Well, that's a little better, but can we make the buy? Oh, jeez. Okay, we're gonna keep UMass. That one's fine. The UMass matchup, that's fine. Um, excuse me. There, jeez, thank you. Syracuse, that one's fine. Oh, how about this? All that's left are the FCS schools, if you want to change that one. Let's take a look at Marshall. Okay, this one's a little better. Okay, this is a little better. And now we're going to add a UMass into that. Okay, then NC State. We can get rid of that input. Who do we have? How about UTSA there? Oh, We can't add Texas State first, but who cares? Let's get the season started. As, all, as Leslie Hapablap will be coaching the Tennessee Volunteers. And don't worry, Tennessee fans. I kept my word saying that we'll be a Tennessee series. And, well, I'm doing it. Well, also, I got to applaud the Tennessee Lady Vols in softball. Because they lost to Oklahoma. Despite doing a great job. Almost reap eating. Giving the SEC their second straight... National Championship in softball. Why do I watch soft college softball? I have no clue. So we're going to coach Tennessee here. So Leslie have a black will. After countless insults to the Tennessee Volunteers, I'm finally going to make it up and do an actual Tennessee Volunteers series. So sorry, UMass. Looks like you guys are going to have to wait a little bit longer. So we're starting off the season. Good. Okay, preparing studio updates. Good. Regular season. So here we go. Let's get started. We got a game against SU, but before we do, let's take a look at the preseason polls. Let's see where everyone is. Let's see where we where Tennessee is. And Oh, we're in the top 50? Oh, we're barely out of the top 50. And everyone is off except us. Ugh, jeez, gotta stick with the regulars. Next time I'm skipping with the regular schedule. Taking a look at the championship contenders to see where we are. Right now we're 53rd, so we could next year... Half a lap's gonna like this. It's gonna be, we're gonna be at the 28, so we could get into the rankings and then we're gonna make a slight drop. So that's going to hurt. Take a look at the conference outlook since we're in the SEC East. And you can see, yeah, we got a pretty tough lineup. Here we got Georgia, South Carolina, and Florida, and Missouri. Well, Vanderbilt and Kentucky, those are probably pushovers, so. <laughs> yeah. Not any. And the contract info says not everyone has what it takes to be Tennessee's football coach. Good luck. Yep. And now we got a game against Syracuse. Now it's time for the uniforms. We got the traditional home ones, which we saw a few hours ago. And our aways. Alternate number one, which is the all orange, which we're going to go with that one. Here's alternate two. And yeah, that's it. We're going to go all orange today. So we are. So it'll be Tennessee versus Syracuse. Nice time. Here we go. As we head back. Football time in Tennessee. 
the Big Orange soon will storm through that tee and be ready to defend Neyland Stadium. The Big Orange almost set to go on Rocky. Yeah, the Battle of the Orange at this point. There we go. There's a nice end. That's a nice way to intro. And hey, you get a quick peek inside the locker room. That's a nice feature. I will give my all for Tennessee today. Yep, the guy behind me can't see. And now here comes, here comes Tennessee's mascot, being Smokey. Okay, that's the real life Smokey. The mascot we're gonna see so many times. Here come the volunteers. Okay, I got a question. If you, if a Tennessee fan actually listens to this, watches this, I gotta ask. Um, what kind of dog is Smokey? I'm just asking, because this is the first time I'm actually coaching Tennessee here. Don't worry, if my dynasty does end, and I do have to leave UAB, which is a possibility, because many teams want my services. So here we go, we're going to start off with a mid-draw. So here we go, Daniels hands it off, hands it off to Smith. Oh goody, another Smith. So Ryan Smith gets a good job, good run, two yards. So we're gonna go four verticals to in the bathroom, and there you see a nice, a good throw to Deluca. Deluca gets it in there first down for Tennessee, and there's the mascot Smokey. Yeah, he's kind of weird looking. <laughs> oh, one more thing. Since I'm gonna, since I'm doing an SEC school, trust me on this one. I am going to sc scan on the SEC logos because don't forget, spoiler alert, there's, I may be doing another one soon, so don't worry on that. Yeah, there it is, the SEC. So here we go, more of this as Daniels going to throw it to duck it. First down for the Volunteers. Here we go, flanker dig. Ah, phone call. Luckily, someone's gonna. I'm gonna leave it to the answering machine. There you see a nice throw to Deluca Spear and a first down. As the Tennessee ball and he and Havelap is liking what he sees out of this Tennessee team. So here we go, Daniels gives it to Ryan Smith. Smith gets tackled big. And this is the first time we're actually doing a whole Tennessee team. Don't forget, Derek Gibson's from Tennessee, so. At back it up, studio update. Okay. Here we go, P.A. Reed here. So, last chance for Tennessee. Otherwise, we got to take a field goal. And there you see a nice throw to Daniels. Oh, no, he dropped it. But still, that's okay. We, we missed the kick. I just got Michael DeLuca. Okay. So, here we go. Daniels hands it off to Ryan Smith. Smears gets it fumbled, but he gets the ball back. Thank God. Relief, 
So Ryan, so here's Daniels. He's going to hand it off, and he gets the throw off in time. Thank God. Well, that would have been a big disaster. There you see a nice throw to Brucker. First down for Tennessee. No huddle. Why well, did have a lap call that, or maybe it's the head coach. You see Smith, and he is running up a storm, and that's the first down. He could have been alone there, but in the end, he does get taken down. So here we go. Daniels hands it off to Rucker. Oh, he got picked. No, he didn't get picked. There's the DeLuca. Ooh, for down. So, t yeah, this has been a tough t Tennessee team. They are, they're, they're resilient. So here we go, Daniels. Trying to figure out, here we go. Nice catch by Rucker. First down for Tennessee. And there's Smokey, and he is liking what he's seeing. So here we go, Daniels, oh jeez, tough luck for Tennessee right there, so time for the good old stick and nod. So I'm actually saying, I cannot believe I'm saying this, touchdown volunteers! And just like that, Tennessee strikes first. And there we go, Tennessee fans, they are loving it in Tennessee. And Syracuse ties it up. Great. That's what we need. Daryl Washington, 21-yard rush. Well, not bad, actually. So there you go, hands it off to Smith. Oh, geez, they were ready for him in Syracuse. Ugh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, have a blap. What? Hey, offensive lineman. What is your major malfunction? Yeah. Full metal jacket. Gotta go for it. That's a nice throw to Rucker, but unfortunately, there was defenders right there. So here we go. We're two for three here, but it'll take a miracle for actually to have this go through. I'm so, I'm gonna be stunned if it's a fourth and one. Watch. Actually, we got two, so that's not bad. So there you see, and of course we're down by, t we're down by three, so that's not bad. We'll get it back, so not to worry. We're not gonna panic, because Tennessee, there's no time for panic if you're a volunteer. There you see a great throw to Washington. Oh, he dropped it. Let's see what happened here. Oh, it. Flipped off his fingers. Ugh. So that's bad about rod and luck right there. But still early for Tennessee to get this one back. So here we go. Tennessee. Daniels hands it off to Ryan Smith. And look at him go, baby. First down, Tennessee. Oh, baby. And boy, Tennessee fans in Leyland, St Leyland Stadium. Wait, is it Leyland? Let's check the scoreboard again. It's, yeah, I gotta double check. Cause I wanna get. I don't want someone saying get your facts straight. Okay, it's Mayland Stadium. Okay, or Nayland Stadium. Ugh. Excuse me. And there you see a nice throw to Randall. First down, Tennessee, and he goes right through the ref. And the Volunteers, they are loving it on the field. There we go, Blossom. Oh, crap. I just realized we got that play. Yep. Oh, it's Smith. And he got speared. 
Well, Leslie knew that one was coming, so he comes up with another plan. The four verticals the, in the bathroom. So Tennessee, and also there you see the Syracuse fans right there. So Tennessee is hoping to score right in front of them. And that's a ooh. So Daniels has not been doing a good job so far. Oh, come on, Kurt. You have you heard the song of Song of Motion? It's fun to be free. Oh, and that's not fun to be free with if you've got an interception. So the fans at Syracuse, oh, they're happy about that. Oh, my God. And, ooh, good job, defense. You guys rock. The four verticals. And there you see, oh, 21 managed to get us. Oh my god. So here we go, FL Dig. That's the play we're going with. 51 seconds left. We can take the lead right here at, before halftime, so let's see what happens. There you see a nice throw to Johnson. Can he get into the end zone? Yes, touchdown falls. For Daniels, good job, as he is. And boy, Tennessee, they are loving it in, in Knoxville. And actually, Leslie can take some time going, going, I guess, Leslie may enjoy it some time in Nashville going to the Grand Ole Opry, so that could be a nice feature to go into Tennessee, and uh-oh, speaking of good features, take a look at Duckett, touchdown, volunteers! And boy, Tennessee has been on fire since that interception. And there's Smokey, the real-life one. Smokey the fourth? Huh. I, huh, that's quite interesting. Huh, I guess that must be a school tradition. I, uh, it's kind of like what they do at Auburn. Although I want to show off Auburn ASAP. Either if it's Road to Glory, I have to show it off. So here we go, drag under. Tennessee's up 11. So Leslie Havelblap has to be impressed with this Tennessee lineup here. This is a tough team here. And there you see a nice throw to Washington. First down for Tennessee. And there's the mascot, Smokey. And he is liking what he sees. Uh-oh, we got to get away from that star right there. And we're running toward him. And there you see Ryan Smith gets it in there. He gets the first and goal. For Tennessee. Is this Ryan Smith touchdown, Tennessee? And boy, Tennessee has been on a roll. As Tennessee finally found their mojo. And boy, this is going to be a little tough. They see Ryan Smith, and he goes through a bunch of oranges. So here we go, wide shallow cross. Man, Tennessee has been on a roll, so let's see what happens here. Here we go, Daniels. And there you see, nice pass to DeLuca, first down for Tennessee. And there you see Jovan Daniels' stats. 11 out of 22, not bad, but could be better. So maybe Havablap can teach this guy. Wait, is he a senior? Because I have a feeling Havablap may want to learn teach this guy. Oh, he's a junior. Oh, he's a junior too, so. there's a And Havablap wants to, re wants to do something here. And there you see a nice throw to Lawson. Ooh, first down. Good job. Nice throw there by Devon Daniels. 
There we go, 45, quick base. There we go, Daniels. Hands it off to Ryan Smith. Where did that guy come from? So that guy does. So here we go. So I guess you guys are probably asking me what are my thoughts on the uh, Aaron Hernandez situation. Well, one thing's for sure. Thanks to it. Thanks to this uh, trial, and the, I gotta say, New England did a, the right thing by releasing him. So this could be one of two things. What's gonna happen with Rob, with Grunk, and uh, and also this could make make a couple of good things here. Could it be? I could be doing. Ah, Stuart, I think I could think about it, but that is most likely the direction I'm going. A possible New England Patriots series. That's going to be big, and there you see a nice throw to Washington, touchdown! And hey, that, that hairdo looks familiar. Oh man, Tennessee has been on a roll. And boy, Leslie has the laps in that the coaching box, and he is loving what Tennessee is doing. But the bat, don't forget, Leslie, don't forget, there's one problem. You're playing in the SEC, so you got to play Alabama. And actually, I like Syracuse's jersey, so. And also, don't forget, speaking of Syracuse, today could be the day that he could, could, could we see Randy, could we see Chris Jericho go to an, ooh, Schuler. And, well, look, we gave him a free score. Well, they were shut out. If they missed this, well, if, uh, okay, okay, they, they made it. Bad. That's bad. And, oh, how about that? They did a squib kick, apparently. So here we go, Daniels hands it off to Ryan Smith. Smith trying to get it. He got it in. Man, Ryan Smith has been on a roll. So here we go. Clear out. So, so, so Madden 25, we are getting set to go for that one. Which means, don't worry, Madden 25, we will continue it. Oh my god, that was so cheap. As Daniels is, well, he's not as bad as the that other... Actually, he, he has been on target lately, so it, it's only fair that he goes on a cold spell. So Leslie is trying to figure out what Devon's major malfunction is. So here we go. We're going to give uh, Ryan Smith some time. Oh, third and one. Seriously. So here we go, 2.17 left to go in the game. So it looks like right now, it's a little too immature to say, but it looks like we may have a Tennessee victory. And there you see DeLuca, first down for Tennessee. 15 for 30. Well, not well. that's still not bad, but at least Leslie Hablap has something to work with. He has something to work with. That way, we can make him into a like a Buster Houston or a Braylon Bird. Well, at least he's doing well in the pros. Um, wait a minute. Now it's time for Devon Daniels to run like the wind. Yeah, that's right. We're giving him a running play. Oh crap! He's gonna go into a defender. Yep. Wait, wait a minute. What's he doing? Ooh, look at that! Good work, Devon. A second and a third and one opportunity, so that is big right there if you're a Tennessee volunteer. That is a big play right there, so here we go, Devon. It's taking some time. There he goes. There's the throw to DeLuca. Touchdown, Tennessee. Yeah, that should just about put the nail in the coffin.
as there you see the Tennessee and then also why is there and why is the their outline orange? Actually that's so clever. And that is it. All we gotta do now is well take the knee. Oh wait a minute. Wait a minute. They have a final timeout. And they are gonna eat they are not gonna use it. I'm stocked. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna do a mid draw here just so for just for all time's sake to give Ryan a shot at the 100 plateau. And guess what? He's not gonna get it. But that is it. Tennessee will be getting the victory. A good way to redeem themselves from that l loss. And wait, hold on. Is this it? Do we get to see a, a stat line from? Oh, I guess I gotta see it later. Oh well. Well, let's you might as well just take the knee. The Volunteers win! 42-17. Oh, a very big victory. A very big victory over. Let's we take a look at the stats here. There you see the stats, and boy, it's, it was mostly all Tennessee today. Although, T Syracuse did put a run in there in the second quarter. Take a look at the stats. There you see Jovan Daniels from Seaside, California. Really? That's nice. Rushing, we got from Hollywood, Florida, Ryan Smith. He got 88. Oh. Well, Daniels got 7, so that's great. Here we go. Receiving, we Michael DeLuca got one touchdown, 123 yards. Duckett got a touchdown and 54 yards. Darrell Washington from Bailey's Crossroads, Virginia. He got a touchdown. C.J. Johnson got two touchdowns. David Rucker got no touchdowns, but he got 50 yards. Lee Lawson got 50, 16 yards. Randall got 38. And Ryan Smith got 8 yards. So, that is it right there on that one. So, Tennessee gets the victory. But not the, the slimmest of margins, just like the game we just saw a few hours earlier. <sighs> so go Big Orange. Yeah, the Big Better Orange team won. So here we go. As we take a look at recruiting, now let's see what we need. No position needs? Awesome, and Michael DeLuke is our best player. Yeah, Devon is in second. So, look like we got a good spot here. But we're going to take a look and do some recruiting here. That way we can work. Look at Richard Barnett. He is a Tennessee volunteer. Okay, proximity to home. Okay, got to do it. Let's do our... Day since they are a conference rival, let's offer a scholarship. Oh. Conference prestige. Okay, we're there. We go. Three sixty-five. We're off to a good start. Looking at David Scales. As you can see, he got one hundred and thirty. No red shirt. What else do you have? Uh, yeah, I have a uh, French fries for you. <laughs> so it's too early. So next we got a buy, which is great because that way we could save some time toward our coaching carousel marathon that we're having on Saturday and Sunday. So a very big victory for the Tennessee Volunteers. So that concludes the first episode. I hope you guys enjoy. But don't worry, I'm going to take a little bit of a break. That way we can get these videos uploaded on my Mike49324 account. That way Thursday I can, uh, well, I can, when I film the next series, I can put these in their perspective playlists and all that stuff.
There we go, preparing the studio updates, but what's the point? We... What's the point? We're not even playing. So here we go, take a look at the top 25. And Alabama... Is still your number one. Everyone is still the same. Except nobody dropped out, so no round of applause. Look at the Heisman. Took a look at the conference standings. As you can see, we are the shocker. Tennessee is the only team that won. Yeah. 88 overall offense. Jeez, that's a high rated offense. So, here we go. Heisman watch. We got My Michael Davis, Rob Houston, Kevin Everett, M Mark O'Connor, and Daryl Wilmy Williamson. They are fighting for that Heisman spot. Time for the players of the week. And there you see a, a Tennessee sweep. Javon Daniels is your player of the game with the five touchdowns, 450 yards, despite those three interceptions. And Ron Novak is your Tennessee in the week. As we take a look at the SEC, and yeah, it's, a, yeah, it's pretty clear. So I think that should just about do it. Come back next time as the Tennessee Volunteers does a lot of recruiting that is pointless. So I'll t come back for that, guys. What's your major malfunction?